we are going to study the fluorescence spectroscopy first of all we will see what is fluorescence spectroscopy the fluorescence spectroscopy is also known as the fluorometry or the spectrofluorometry what is a fluorescence spectroscopy fluorescence spectroscopy is a type of electromagnetic spectroscopy that analyzes fluorescence from the sample let's see what is fluorescence when a beam of light is incident on a certain substances they emit visible light or radiation known as fluorescence the substances showing this phenomenon are known as the fluorescence substances let's see the principle of fluorescence spectroscopy the principle of fluorescence spectroscopy is based upon the jablonski diagram in simple words when an atom absorb the energy it get excited and move from ground state to excited state when during relaxation it comes back to ground state and it emits radiation let's see the instrumentation of the fluorescence spectroscopy the components of instrument are light source monochromator there are two type two types of monochromator are used in the fluorescence spectroscopy first one is excitation monochromator and second is emission monochromator we will study later the difference between this monochromator in this video third is sample holder fourth a detectors fifth reading device or recorder so let's study about the working of instrument in this fluorescence spectroscopy the basic requirement is light source light radiation are passed through the excitation monochromator where the only specific wavelength of radiations are passed through the sample which are required to excite the molecule or atoms in the samples from the sample holder the immediate radiation are then passed to emission monochromator where the emitted radiation from the sample are passed to detectors the detector then passes electric signals to the reading device or recorder where it is displayed in the form of graphs the important and unique thing in the fluorescence spectroscopy is that the emission monochromator is always placed in the 90 degree from the incident light this is done because it minimizes the risk of transmission or reflected incidence light reaching to the detectors thus it is done to minimize the errors in the detection less study the light source xenon arc is mainly used as the light source because the xenon produces the continuous spectrum as you you can see in the diagram the light radiation are produced in this range are of 300 to 800 nanometers let's study the monochromator in detail firstly the monochromator mainly convert the polychromatic light into the monochromatic light thus specific wavelength of radiation are passed to sample holder which contains the sample there are two types of monochromator first one excitation monochromator the excitation monochromator it allow only the radiation which excite molecule or atoms second what is emission monochromator it passes radiation only emitted by the sample molecule to the detector these are the basic difference between these two monochromator let's see the sample holder sample holder quits are made up of uh, glass it could be a square or cylindrical in shape you can see in this in diagram 
detectors the detectors are on reading device pmt it is also known as the photo multiplayer tube it's commonly used as detector in the fluorescence spectroscopy let's study reading device or recorder the output current from detector is fed into measuring device that indicates the extent of fluorescence application of fluorometry determination of inorganic substances nuclear research fluorescent indicators fluorometric reagent organic analysis and pharmaceutical analysis thank you